Um, well, there's there they are floating around. I've seen some of those. Yep. Do you understand that? Do you understand that this is a problem? That you have absolutely no fucking idea what's going on in my country. You, you, what's going on in my? Ex, let me finish, please. And then you can go. You can talk as long sure. as you want. You don't know what's sure. happened in my country. You don't know what's happened with my government. You don't know any of the things that Donald Trump has been involved in. But I bet if I go through your Twitter, I can find fifty million videos of Joe Biden uh, with his stupid fucking open mouth or, or or slurring some word. Do you think that's an issue? Um, well, I think the president being fit is an issue. Yeah, for sure. He what about being be an insurrectionist? I don't believe he's an insurrectionist. Oh, what did I just lay out then that either doesn't qualify for insurrection or isn't true from what I just said? Or if you want, you can admit that you have no idea what I'm talking about and you need to go back to the drawing board before even beginning to have an opinion on this topic. Um, well, I can have an opinion because free speech exists. So I can say what I want to say. Um, you know, First you, of all, you know, no. Number one, no. You're a Canadian. You have no guarantee of free speech. Number two, that's obviously not what I meant. You obviously are entitled to an opinion. I'm saying that it was a shorthand for uh, to have a well-formed opinion that merits consideration. Right? You're well, not even I, aware of any of the major okay. events happening in this country. I don't know how you can have a strong opinion on, on whether or not Donald Trump is an insurrectionist or not. Well, I see what the media says about uh, the current events, and I see the media pushing and saying things like, to serve his country, President Biden should drone strike Donald Trump. And to me, that seems uh, like not very appropriate thing to say for, for uh, you know, as an advice for the current sitting president. And that doesn't seem like a strong uh, uphold of uh, democracy or decency, as they would say, because they said decency was on the ballot. If Rachel Maddow told you that walking on sidewalks was dangerous, would you walk in the street? No. Then why are you citing me something that the media said and then giving me your four year? Do you have children? Do you react to everything like a child? If the media says something you don't like it, do you just take the opposite position without giving a single original thought yourself into what you're actually being told? Or is your entire ideology defined by reaction? No, I, no I'm not ideologically possessed. Um, I agree with certain things that sometimes the liberals say, and I can disagree with certain things that conservatives do. I, it's okay. Not, it's not That's like. Fine. Yeah, it's not like I, I watch, uh, you know, state Canadian media and take the opposite stance of everything they say because twice twice a day a broken clock is right. So uh, cool. it's not an issue okay. for me. So then let's, I think we can, I, going back to the uh, the insurrection thing, uh, if, I had, if every part of what I laid out was true, if Donald Trump slated false electors in states, had that sent to Congress, and knowingly gathered a crowd of what, 50,000, whatever people, and then sent them to the Capitol building in the hopes that they would protest to pressure the fake electors being chosen. Do you think any of that qualifies as an insurrection? Would I have to be an expert in insur insurrection law to state state that one way or another? But you don't have to be an, ins you don't have to be an expert in insurrection law to say confidently that it wasn't? Well, perhaps you're right about that, but... Um... I, you know, I, like I said, I refer to his actual words um, that he put out on social media and on video saying that he's requesting for peace. And you understand that that came after he was begged for hours while he and his crony corrupt fuck Giuliani made phone calls to sitting congressmen inside of the lockdown building, right? That he was calling them, pressuring them to delay the certification of the vote. It was hours after that, that he finally went on Twitter when the insurrection had failed and said, okay, guys, we need to go home. Uh, well, like I said, I wasn't following it 24 seven. Maybe Why do you have an opinion on it? Well, you, you weren't following 24 seven. You were following at zero zero. You have no idea what happened on any of this. Why do you why do you think you should have an opinion on any of this? Well, I told you I can have an opinion if I want. You and... can, but I but then you people should like make fun of you and like bully the fuck out of you for it, right? You've literally no idea about any of this. It wasn't that what our original tweet was over, is that I think I called you a didn't I call you a hack fuck? It seems like I was correct, right? You have absolutely no idea well, about literally know, any of these issues. Yes, okay. Maybe I haven't followed the case as closely as you have, but I- Hold on, not closely. You don't even have any idea. You have no concept. You don't know anything about what I'm talking about. You don't even know what an electoral vote is, do you? Of course I do. Of course I do. It's, it's what the United States has for their electoral process. We have a similar process here in Canada. It's not majority vote. It's not democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Okay, if you know what an electoral vote is, do you think it's acceptable for people to try to fake them? like Donald Trump did in seven different states? Well, like I said, what is the evidence that he faked those? What, what is your evidence for that? 
what would you want to see? What if I could show you hypothetically? Stuffing ballots and bringing out bags and security footage from uh, places where people are voting and they were putting up tarps over the windows and- uh, Are you were... aware? Are you aware that every single one of those was investigated um, and that every single one of those was heard before a court and that they, every single one of these except for one was shot down, a lot of them by conservative judges that Trump himself or at least his administration appointed? Uh, well, like I said, I wasn't following this case 24-7, so no, I wasn't following the procedures that came out of that. Okay, but you, you've seen pictures of it, right? Are you embarrassed or ashamed that you've had like strong opinions about this because of pictures that you've seen because of dipshits like Elon Musk feeding you lies on Twitter? Dustin, you don't have to be that rude. I'm being really respectful. I'm not. Hold sure on, no, 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 wait, wait. I just hold on. I just I I need you to understand something so much. Okay, you're not being respectful. You're actually fucking evil. Okay, this idea that you I can walk it. around and as long as that's great, I don't care. The idea that you can walk around and as long as you say the worst type of shit imaginable in a nice enough voice that you should be treated with respect is absurd. Right. In, in no other function in life would anybody ever be treated that way. You have no concept of anything related to the insurrection. You have no concept of what's even happened aside from what you've seen, I guess, on Twitter and the media. But you're out here tweeting along with every other uh, insurrectionist supporting fuckhead in my country about how <laughs> Donald Trump is treated unfairly in the media and 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 Joe Biden isn't fit to be president. Like you have no idea what you're talking about for any of this, though. Hey, do you think it's okay for uh, Joe Biden voters to, you know, make like a life-sized uh, version of Trump and like put a fake guillotine over him or to hold up bloody severed heads of him and things like that? Do you think that contributes to anything that's happening in the States? Nope. I think that uh, to the first question, I would say, no, that's not acceptable. Were, uh, were Democrats or protesters doing that? outside of the Capitol building, except instead of a guillotine of Trump, were they talking about Mike Pence? And were they doing that because the president of the United States said that they needed to pressure Mike Pence and that when Mike Pence wasn't accepting the pressure, he tweeted out that uh, Pence has failed us? Did that happen? Do you remember any of that? Or is that another thing that's conveniently uh, mind saw, wiped from your brain? I saw that tweet. So I saw that. You don't have to insult me. Like There's, there's no need for that. Um, I saw that tweet and I saw some people uh, calling for Mike Pence for, for whatever they were calling for him. Uh, I to don't be clear, hold on, that... just to be clear, they were calling for his assassination because he wasn't willing to finish the insurrection, to finish the coup that Donald Trump and Eastman had okay. set up for him. Just well, to be clear, I, yeah. I don't, okay, I don't believe that a few crazies represent uh, the majority. They so... do. But they do. No, what, why, why would you say that? The president so. called them there in a speech. He gave them exactly the words that they needed. He said that Mike Pence is the one who needs to toss basically the the, the uh, election for us. He's the only one that we can rely on. Uh, he told them that we need to make sure that our electorate slates are counted. Uh, and then he sent them to the Capitol building to pressure the... I guess the people there to to do whatever it is that they were supposed to do, which was to steal but, the election. But did he did he tell them to call for his uh, assassination? Did he did he incite them to do that? Is that what you're saying? Like did he, he incite did, them? He yes, he laid out every words. single. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. So he needs to say the exact words. You need to go assassinate someone for him to be culpable. In that case, you would agree then that there is not a single Democrat lead in leadership that you would hold responsible for any amount of violence, right? Unless, are you going to show me? Uh, uh, um, are you going to show me some kind of tweet or video of a Democrat saying we need to kill conservatives? Have you seen a single one of those? Um, I've seen some crazy statements coming from uh, Democrats that I didn't ask either... for crazy statements. I didn't ask. For, I asked were there explicit calls for violence where they said we need to go kill conservatives. OK, so like I don't have a photographic memory. I believe I've seen similar things, maybe not by elected Democrats, but Democrat voters. Oh, wait, excuse me, to... Democrat voters? What does that have to do with anything? I was talking about the president of the United States. And now you're going to appeal to an average everyday citizen like they have the same level of, of moral responsibility okay, but, or, but or political did, culpability. But Trump did not call for his followers to go and do something insanely violent. Yes, That's he did. He called for them to go march to the to the Capitol grounds and to protest the certification of the vote in the United States of America to prevent the peaceful uh, transfer of power, which is what they did for a, some number a, of hours. A protest isn't a protest is a legal proceeding. You can protest peacefully, um, unlike did they protest peacefully. I believe they did. Um, really? I believe How did the ones I get inside the building? Guy, 
um, I, I watched a guy saying we need to go into the Capitol and people were around him saying, no, we do not need to do that. There was law enforcement nearby. They were saying, um, you know, these, this is what these crazies are saying. You need to do something. Why aren't you doing something? No, they didn't because I actually watched the videos, ma'am. Have you seen any of them? Have you seen any footage that doesn't come from Tim Pool, Elon Musk, Steven Crowder, The Daily Wire, uh, Tucker Carlson? Have you have you watched any yes, original I've, reporting on this whatsoever? Yes, or have you literally well, exclusively watched whatever conservative shit down your throat? No, no. Okay. So then let me ask Colin real see, clearly. Wait, wait, real, real clearly. Can I, can I how did the first how did the first people get into the Capitol building? Can I can I respond? Sure. Uh, would you consider CNN original? content or like what do you what i'm do you just mean curious if you watch any non-right wing like any actual reporting on it not like a pundit do you consider cnn in, in places cnn like is that? a news network there are pundits that are on cnn just like fox news is a news network and there are pundits that are on fox news there's reporting which is when people do reports usually there are cameras involved and then there are pundits so people like uh tucker carlson or anderson cooper would be a yes. pundit yes i understand what you mean okay i'm just i was just trying to clarify so you're telling me that there's video that exists of people violently approaching the building and breaking their way in is that what you're saying i you you're you can't you you can't honestly be seriously asking me that question are you not aware that it is uncontested that the first people that went into the building broke in are you telling me right now that you don't believe that to be the case well, I'm just asking you if there's footage of it that exists. There That's is plenty of footage, yes. And now I'm asking you, are you under the impression that the first people that got into the Capitol building that they walked in? From what I've seen, they were, there was security guards standing. They were People were walking in. And I, I even recall, I hope this is accurate, I even recall some saying, I don't agree with this, but he was just letting them walk in. So, yeah, that's what I saw. And I, the only violence that I saw that was happening, like broken windows or the guy shouting there standing, I think his name was Ray Epps. I think he was standing and shouting and saying, we need to go into the Capitol. And people around him were appalled at what he was saying. And they nope, shouting, you're not no, true. No, That's no, not don't. true. You're lying and you didn't see that, okay? You saw that yes. the night before. I, no, because I'm sorry. I watched all of these videos with Ray Epps. It's one of the favorite of you conservatards, okay, to try to blame everything on him. Well, all right? there's no need Which to is insult. Also, like, you, no, there you is. You, you, need to be, you needed to be bullied so much more in life, okay? Jesus fucking Christ, okay? Uh, uh, you don't, the videos you don't of Ray Epps calling... Why, the, why I know you... enough about you. I know enough about you to know that your opinion is worthless and that you are one of the strongest arguments for why there should be an IQ limit to actually get on a social media and post opinions about politics <laughs> is that is that what is that how free speech works destiny no unfortunately i guess not like are you for free speech generally good okay, thing on so a social media platform that's privately owned corporations have to host every single thing that's said on them well I view the space that we're currently on, Twitter, as the town digital square. So I believe free speech applies, should apply on on this platform because no one stands in the town square anymore. It's it's kind of an outdated concept. So this is what. Okay, and if become. I declare your basement the town square, can me and my friends go hang out there and like have some drinks? Why why would I care what your individual determination is for some particular space online? You you realize that's totally irrelevant to anything that exists in law or the constitution, right? Okay, so how do you see free speech then? So you see that this I'm, platform is. It, I have. Free I have absolutely not no desire. Here? I have no desire to discuss this topic with you. Um, maybe for another time. But okay. uh, do do you you're unaware then? Because I can start linking you like video like for all the violent videos that you saw of people that were breaking in or of people that were fighting cops or whatever. Where do you think that came from? Do you think it was like just lifted from Baltimore and they said it was the Capitol building or? Uh, like there, there was a crowd of people in front of the White House. So what do you mean like lifted from Baltimore? I don't understand what you mean. Can you, For the can you people that were breaking in, how do you think, yeah, I saw windows why, why being were they broken. breaking in? I saw windows being broken and um, I saw people saying, what are you doing? And then I saw uh, law enforcement being around and not doing anything about it. And I presume the law enforcement that's there um, on the grounds of this official building, uh, you know, should have done something about it, but they didn't. And that was confusing. 
And so, and the people, that, the majority of the people were there, as you said, protesting under uh, allegedly Trump uh, directing him there to go and protest and be violent and whatever it is that you said. Like, I, um, you know, I, I think they were a vacation of the vote. Well, why wasn't there enough? Like, if people thought that he was so bad, why wouldn't they bring reinforcements? It's not really relevant to the to the question. Why not? Because if, it's not like, relevant. For example, it, doesn't, like, it doesn't have any. It doesn't contradict any well, of the underlying example, facts. For example, you know, people like Pelosi and all all the. No, Democrats. I'm sorry. Excuse me. No, that n Pelosi has nothing to do with this. I mean, if your strongest counter argument is, well, maybe Pelosi should have called for more guards to fight against Trump's insurrectionists. I mean, like, what the fuck kind of argument are you even making? There? I, I like, don't what? think he called for insurrectionists again. But if like what I was, said, what if, if, what if was he calling the, people? If, to, what okay, were they going can, to protest? Can I just finish the thought? Can I? Yeah, go for it. Thought? So, like, if these people who were saying Trump is literally Hitler and he's the devil and um, you know he needs to be taken out or whatever it is that they said, um, like, if that was their belief about him and they kept saying. You know, Hillary said he's an illegitimate president and all these things. Um, wouldn't wouldn't like their first instinct, like they said he's a threat to democracy, he's a dictator, he's this, he's not. Wouldn't their like instinct be to on the day where they would you know, they thought that he would do something crazy to, you know, make sure there was enough guards, to make sure there was enough uh people to stop some of the yeah, Some of when, the when when Hillary said that Trump that was down. an illegitimate president, what was she referring to? When she you said, "You don't even know, yes, do you even yes. know what speech it came from or what she was talking about?" Yeah, she was talking about Trump, and she was saying he knows he's an illegitimate president. Like that sounds like an election denial to me. Okay, well, it's not. You should go look up the context of like some of these speeches rather than just going by the tweets that you see that okay, are shown. Okay, so uh, okay, so help me understand. So no, when she I, said, I don't. I don't. Well, wait, wait, no, no, hold on. What I want to help you understand first is I want you to watch this, and I just want you to talk through with this. I want you to talk me through this, okay? At like go to fifteen thirty and tell me what what are we what are we watching? What's happening here? What What do you mean? Like you sent a link? You want me to go open a link? Is that yeah? What you do you, are you on a computer or a phone right now? I'm on both. Okay, I want you to okay. open this up and we'll just go to 1530 and we, I just want to watch a little bit. I just want to watch together. Uh, I just want to see, I, I want you to give me your take on what's actually happening in this video. Which link is it? There's three links here. The last one I sent you. You can read the other first two in your own time or not. You probably won't, it doesn't matter. Okay, it says, okay. It's 40 minutes long. Yep, go to 15 minutes and 30 seconds. We just have to watch a minute or two. Let me know when you're there, and then we'll start it at the same time. Okay, I'm watching it. Oh, wait, what time are you at? Uh, fifteen twenty-five. Okay, wait. We can start at the same. Okay, ready? Sure. Three, two, one, go. Mhm. Mm okay, so people are marching with flags. Yep. yep. Just curious, what do you think they're going here to protest? Um. The the results they believe that was stolen from them. Ah, so they're going here to protest the election. Okay. Is protesting illegal? I didn't say, did I say that this was illegal? No, I said that this is overall as part of an instruction. Why is this guy no, kicking? Earlier, wait, wait, no, why is this guy kicking? Said, Stop, I, don't divert. Hold on. Don't divert. Protesting in and of itself is obviously not illegal. I'm asking you what these people are going here to protest for. I'm just curious if you have an idea. Hold on. Wait, I pause. Go back to 1556. Why is he breaking that window open when the cops are supposed to be opening it for them? At 1553, people, you have an idea? Well, like I said, I watched them break windows and I watched other people telling them not to do this. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, at what time are you at right now? 15.54. Okay. Well, we'll start again in three, two, one, go. Oh, there's the door. Hmm. Oh, they broke that one too. That's crazy. W where are the cops here that are letting them into the building? Do you know where they're yeah, at at this point? Where are they? Why is there not enough? 
That's a good like question. If, if, if his followers, that doesn't matter though. That's not, that's not, that's like, not, that's not relevant. The question right now is what's happening outside. How are they getting into the building before you told me the claim? Do you, if you want to change the claim to there weren't enough officers there, we can have that conversation. But no, you I'm said earlier that you've seen I'm, that I'm not changing the claim. I, I clearly stated there was not enough officers and clearly cool, there I agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. Yep. A barricade. Okay, we'll yeah. keep watching. I'm at 1653 now. Seems like they're trying to push some cops back. No, yeah, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got, oof, okay. So do, do the cops look like they're leading them in here? Would you, would you have that impression? No, here they you're don't. Watching? No, they, oh, don't, okay. they gotcha. don't look okay. like they're leading them here at all. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just checking. Like, I can... I can uh, acknowledge when I haven't seen some footage before. I'm, this is, I'm not like I, like I said, I'm not ideologically possessed to say, to excuse anything and everything. Like I could admit. The fact that you haven't seen this means that you are so ideologically brainwashed. You're like no, in another dimension. I don't yes. Think so. Yes. You absolutely are. I'm sorry. Do, you, do these cops here, the guy with the baton that's hitting the people, do you think that he's letting them in peacefully? Oh, clearly not. There's. Okay. Okay. Clearly Just not. making sure. Okay. okay. The gates here that are being pushed over. Was that by the order of the cops? Oh, you see the cops walking back now. Do you think that they're letting them in peacefully now? Now are the cops leading them in? Or do you think they're retreating from a position because there are 50,000 savages that are in front of them that have all been riled up from Donald Trump and marched like a mile away to come to the Capitol building to protest the election results? Or, or, or were they just letting them in? Do you have any idea? Okay, so some of them were let in. Some of them approached okay. without, okay. Uh, without being uh, held back by the law enforcement. Okay. So, well, now we're coming to the building. Okay. Is this guy banging on the window? The one that broke it there? The, are these guys being let in right now? That guy? Doesn't look like it. Hold on. Oh, now when that guy jumps in and the cop is spraying, what is that? Silly putty? I guess it must be Adam or whatever, because they're playing games here. Are there already people being led into the building at some other spot at this point? Or are the okay. first people in the building the ones that broke in? There's a few people that broke in, yes. The I first ones that got that. in broke anyway, in, correct? Um, so, so, okay, so just to get back... Uh, no, no, wait, 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 first I want to hear you say, the first people that got into here broke in, correct? The first few people, it looks like some of them um, were pushing their way in. And yeah, No, 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 no. What do you call it when you push through a material and you break it? That's called a break in. They broke in, right? So I just have a quick question for you. Um, like you, you seem extremely angry about all of this, and yes, you're fighting with a lot of people on Twitter. You're yep. insulting people on Twitter. Yep, I am. Um, so, um, do you think that uh, any of what's been said by the people in the last four years, like I said, demonizing Trump and celebrating um you know the people celebrating the attempt on his life do you think that contributes to what uh to what was happening um in 2020 uh no maybe a little maybe Why not? one percent Why not? The, the issue you have is because your problem is you're saying too many people are demonizing trump have you ever stopped to think well maybe he's acting like a demon People are treating Trump like he's a dictator. Have you ever thought that maybe he's actually acting like a dictator? The um, fact that you're I not familiar with anything that happened on, you don't know no, any of the evidence. You don't know what, you don't know the entire there. Jack Smith indictment. You didn't even know that the first people that got into the Capitol building broke in. Why would I care what you know? You clearly know nothing about any of this. Yet you seem to have a strong no, opinion I don't, about I don't it. Think I, don't, I don't think that's correct. I think I know some, I think I know uh, some things. I wasn't following, like I said, it wasn't following it 24 seven without sleeping or reading full indictments, but it's- Or possible. reading any, any part of an indictment, right? No. Can you be honest about that? You haven't read a single sentence in any of the four indictments that Donald Trump is facing in the United States, right? Or I guess it's only three now because one case is done. Hopefully it gets tossed. Thank God for the Supreme Court. But can you admit that you haven't read a single word of any of those indictments? Can you, no, before that, can you please- No, 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 I need, to hear you, I need to hear you say that first so that we're on the same page and then I'll answer whatever question you want. You haven't read a no, single no, no. sentence like, you, from you any of those indictments. You interrupted me when I was trying to talk to you about him being a dictator. You say he's a dictator. He's acting like a dictator. Yeah. Um, did he not uh, relinquish his, uh, you know, his loss? After Without... a failed, after a failed insurrection. So no, he didn't relinquish it. He lost his insurrection attempt. 
And then he walked so away even mad. though he said, uh, be peaceful, we're not violent, and all those things, you still believe that he, you, you not believe, you, you assess for that to be part of him inciting an insurrection, yeah? Yeah, of course, because I have a brain. And somebody saying in one sentence, walk peacefully, doesn't magically nullify the entire hour-long speech where he's telling people you have to fight like hell. Or you're... No, a single no, sentence I, I in a one-hour speech don't... does not nullify the entirety of the speech. Because guess what? If I look at what happened right after the speech, do you think it's a coincidence that people went there marching, chanting 1776 so on the like day that the election is... was going to be certified, and then they broke into the building and they delayed the certification of the election? Was all of that just a coincidence? So, so you think the words fight like hell is problematic? But you don't see other words as problematic when they say, Kat, um, I'm, I'm so example, sorry. I, I, no, no, I don't evaluate this like a four year old. I'm not looking at one sentence or one word because I know what you want to say. Well, when they said fight like hell, what about when Nancy Pelosi says we need to fight? And what about what? No, it's not the same. What I'm saying is that taken as a whole, Donald Trump called people here on January 6th to do this speech while they were certifying the vote. He riled them up. He tried to rig the election, and then he sent them to the Capitol building to protest where they broke in, where they delayed the certification of the election, which was his goal. I don't think goal, him giving and then he an impassioned speech for his country is, hit, is them riling, riling oh. his base up. What were they going there to protest? What were they going there to protest? Pardon? What were they going there to protest? They were going to protest because they thought the election was stolen from them. Oh, unlawfully. that's an insurrection. No, it isn't. What do you how think is, it means if you go just, to protest because you think an election protest? was stolen? Well, Hillary thought it was stolen as well. She Hillary said, Hillary said gave up that president. light. Hillary gave up that night. How many court cases did Hillary launch to challenge the election results? Can you tell me well, how many court cases? Uh, how many? Was it? How many people? How many powerful people wanted her? Uh, you know, wanted her kept out of power. Did how many have, court cases did Hillary Trenton, uh, how many, Hillary no, no, no. launch to challenge how, the election like, results? Did she have an entire barrage of media and elected officials uh, demonizing her and um, doing the same thing that they're doing to Trump, trying to prevent her to, uh, from being elected? Did, did that happen to Hillary? How many court cases did Hillary Clinton launch challenging the results of the election? But did she have such a forceful uh, barrage of, like I said, media, elected officials, and including their base, uh, you know, just vehemently opposing, calling her the devil, you know, saying all these things. Yes, she, the Republicans had been doing that? it for years. Yes. What do you think the email scandal was about? What do you think the Benghazi hearings were about? By the way, so, hearings that Hillary Clinton sat through, gave testimony for like 12 hours and an investigation that she fully cooperated with. Not like the insurrectionist uh, traitorous so president that used so it, who not, invoked executive privilege at every single opportunity, who pled the fifth at every single opportunity, and who has now been granted absolute criminal immunity for some of his actions so that he never has to answer for so, any of the things so, that he's done. So, so to go back one more time, like, I answered your question, to go back one more time, how many lawsuits did Hillary Clinton file challenging the result of the election i don't know did she file any not a single one okay um so they said when did hillary that... wait when did hillary uh concede the election it was within one day do you agree with that i was following closely then so i don't know i just know it that was she called it, it was she called him day. an illegitimate president that's great i know, I know yeah i know you got those good start... talking points in i like how that by the way i like how that one sentence that's enough for you there but one sentence from trump saying fight like hell and then afterwards these people going fight like hell that doesn't mean um, anything to you that's very funny to me f fight like hell doesn't necessarily mean or uh break windows or anything like that when you say and why is it wait 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 let's say i agree with what you just said okay sure why is it then that when that started to happen and when staffer after staffer went in begging trump hey can you call off your sycophantic savage can you tell me why donald trump didn't stop them if they weren't doing exactly what he wanted to do why did donald trump and giuliani make phone calls to lawmakers inside of congress telling them hey maybe you should delay the uh, vote maybe you should push it back a few days why did he do that if that wasn't exactly what he wanted his protesters to do how do you know what I, I'm going to react to just exactly. you know the conversation is over right here until you answer that question or give me an alternative thing. I'm not answering this game. You have to tell me what was the point because it seems incredibly obvious. Donald Trump gave a speech. They went to the Capitol. They broke in. They delayed the they delayed the certification of the vote, which is what Donald Trump apparently wanted them to do. And for hours while they protested, breaking windows, breaking doors, breaking on inside, he sat and he watched. And the only phone calls that he made while people were begging him to tweet to stop the violence were to try to pressure lawmakers to delay the vote.
Tell me why he did that. Why did he wait for hours? Give me one pl possible explanation that doesn't satisfy well, my story. I'm not in his mind. I, I'm not a mind reader. I can't ascribe motivation to his thoughts that I don't have access to, Destiny. Oh, I mean, why did you assume no, that I was angry? I've watched your stream. Like I, you, you, you speak fast, and you know, you obviously come prepared. You have your talking points. So, like, you. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. To be clear, none of these are talking speak. points. If you want, we can spend. I'm streaming until I got four hours. So, if you want, we can dig as deep, or I can even just link you because I've got whole documents that I've written on this whole scheme and this whole plot. I've read every single indictment from top to bottom. I've read every single criminal statute involved in the indictment from top to bottom, and I've read. Basically, everyone written about these indictments from top to bottom. So, no, I don't have just talking points. That's what you have when you say Hillary Clinton said that Donald Trump was an illegitimate president. And also, I have no idea what happened on January 6th or in the entire lead up to the insurrection for what Donald Trump okay, did. So, so, no, I don't again, have talking points. Statement, it's an unfair statement to say I have no idea what's going on because you didn't know I anything have... about the elect, the whole scam. Do you know anything about Mike Eastman and the coup memo or what their plot was on January 6th? What do you think Donald Trump was talking about when he that said Mike really Pence obscure, come... that, that seems obscure, obscure to me? Oh, well, that's crazy because it was literally part of two of the massive indictments that Donald Trump is facing that he's probably going to get away from now because of the criminal immunity he's been granted. Do you think that the Jack Smith indictment is obscure? Do you think that the Georgia Rico case is obscure? Is it obscure unless it shows up in like a, a Twitter headline or a TikTok video for you? I don't use TikTok. Okay, where the fuck do you get your news from that the, the most important stuff that's happened in this country related to this election and, and the current ongoing criminal cases are obscure trivia to you? You know that like the federal government hosts these indictments for everybody to read, I right? Would They're not, like, hidden. I, I would say that's obscure to a lot of people, people that aren't terminally online. like people. Terminally are... online? I'm sorry, yeah. hold on, hold on. You think that knowing what's in a federal indictment for a prior sitting president makes you terminally online? No, I, I think Okay, hold on, that... wait, wait, wait. Can you admit that what you just said was beat, right? Tell me, it is actually reasonable that it, it maybe for, I'll let you slide because you're a... Can, can you, it, it is, it is reasonable that an American, you, I don't care, I don't care. You. I'm, I'm over, I'm so over to, there. Kat, I don't care, to, I don't care that you're trying to insult me or not. What you're doing is so much worse. You don't see how evil you are. Speaking politely, you think that gives you carte blanche to act like the scum can you tell me it is not unreasonable for an American citizen to be familiar with what is in a criminal indictment for a past president? That's not a terminally online thing to know. Can you admit that? Um, I have to disagree. I think most people don't sit there reading through indictments. Okay. Who do you think should? No. Maybe the people that are spoon feeding you the news that you can see, maybe at least they should have to read it. Do you think? What do you mean people spoon feeding me news? People can consume news however they however they practice like sure but i mean it's obvious for your news consumption you look at a you look at a media feed that feeds you headlines and then you read that and that's where your opinion is formed from so the people that are feeding you those headlines don't you think at no, least they I, should I have can, read the indictments no, just one second just one second i don't need news headlines um i can assess information for myself when i see it you, what is the you, last piece of original, no be, not digested no information that, that you've read? condescending read. about it. No, like, I, you deserve throwing... to be condescended to. My country! Anything that's happening, they're like, okay, well, I'll go and have a reasonable conversation with this person. Okay, so I don't think you're having a reasonable conversation with me. I think you're being extremely rude. I've been respectful to you. Um, I've indulged in clicking on a link that you've asked me to look at. I've agreed with some of your points. Um, I disagree on your assessment. Uh, you know, I, I just don't like I see you, you know, become extremely dysregulated and and you don't even know me. And you're telling me that, you know, you're telling me all these things about me that I'm this and I'm that. Like, I just I don't think that is, you know, a productive conversation. I've told you I, you're, what I, you're you're beyond having a productive conversation. Also, you're not the first. You won't be the last woman to use a psychological term on me. Don't worry. I'm uh, immune to it at this point. Um, what psychological you, you have term? No dysregulated. Uh, the it's, fact it's that you have no word. concept. The fact that you have no concept of any of the any of the stuff that's even in the criminal indictments. Do, do you understand how absolute that people don't even know what our president or our ex president was charged with? They don't even well, know. You don't think that's insane? Like I, like I told, like I told you, uh, there's people who follow this case. Hominem attacks to you know discredit 
my viewpoints and the things that I I've was mentioned. not using. I discredited your viewpoints by saying how stupid they were. And then I pointed to the fact they probably <laughs> happened because but, of your news conception. I'm sorry, wait, what point of yours do you think that I didn't discredit on a substantive basis? Just because I'm calling you names doesn't mean I'm engaged in a homonym. I can both call you names and substantively disagree with the things that you say. Can you give no, me I one thing you said that you feel like I haven't substantively? is calling someone names and calling them stupid. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, ma'am, but an ad hominem is when you dismiss a person's argument by appealing to a personal attack. If I say you're wrong yeah, because of X, Y, Z ad hominem, that's just me calling you a name after substantively disagreeing with you. So if you if there's a point that you feel like you made that I didn't address, feel free to tell me and I will address it. Okay, as I said, uh, I, I don't think there's such a need for insulting me. Um, that's I don't think that's called for, but maybe we can just agree to disagree on that. Uh, ad hominems don't help, don't help in my opinion, but um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for you, you being like as, as angry as you are. <laughs> I, that was like, Do you I understand said, that from uh, my perspective, we are looking at a decent chance of the next president being a guy who, at least from my point of view, launched an insurrection against the government. That's where we're at right now. And everybody around the world is so interested in defending this traitorous. And then when I press them on it, okay, whether it's you, whether it's the uh, Constantine guy who throws his Ukrainian family under the bus to suck off fucking Putin, what? whether okay. it's Tim Pool he, who's no being his reps in one or two sentences, okay, without saying something, right? That all That's of these Constantine people, hold on, is all not of these people, all of these people, he's subhuman scum, okay? That all of these people are interested in defending this guy and nobody knows the substance of any of what he's even charged are, with. Are do you, do you understand Do you understand how frustrating that is? As an American who has an invested in, a vested interest in seeing his country at least not turn into an authoritarian dictatorship? <laughs> I think it's far-fetched to say that if Trump is reelected through the electoral college, like you said, uh, would be, um, what was the word that you just used? Like uh, authoritarian dictatorship. dictatorship. Why yeah. do you think it's far fetched? Well, because, like I said, I don't believe he acts like a dictator. You don't. Well, okay, how not? Well, do you think that, for instance, do you think a dictator if, would try to prevent the peaceful transfer of power? I don't think he was trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power. He called for peace. He called for law and order. He said, "We are for law and order." So, to me, so every that, single those words every are single violent protester that was just random that they all went and violently protested. The certification of the does, electoral does, vote. Well, okay. <laughs> Again, oh, she's I about to do the BLM few... thing. She's going to go, what about BLM? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Do no, it. No, do no, your no. I'm just going to ignore it. So go ahead. No, you're not getting ignored. Although BLM did mostly peacefully protest with fires in the streets. Okay. Hold on. Do you agree that BLM was mostly peaceful? <laughs> no. You're, I... at, you're actual subhuman trash. You think that the majority of the BLM protests were violent? I saw a lot of America burn under BLM protests. The majority, there were like millions and millions of people protesting for for like a year. You think the majority of those were violent? You're actually deranged if you think that. I, no, I, don't even, I didn't sorry, say I, majority. I, I said I saw I asked BLM you. protests that were violent. That were. I didn't ask what you saw fire. on YouTube. I didn't say there I'm asking you, the majority cocktails. of them were violent. And uh, and anchors from outlets that were reporting on the ground, such as CNN, I believe it was. That yeah, said, I know. I saw the uh, same one. Yeah, I saw the same meme image. Don't worry, I've tweeted out before. It was real funny. Yep, I've seen it. Fiery, but mostly peaceful. Do you disagree that it? Do you do you agree that you can call a protest that involves burning down police stations and streets and storefronts and where you know people have to put up signs saying we're a black owned business, please don't burn us down. We support Democrats, don't smash our windows. Do you think you can call that mostly peaceful? You know what, Kat? Whatever I would call that, I would never utter it in front of you because you don't even deserve to get that concession. You don't even deserve to have me accurately assess that. Okay, so when you won't even I don't know deserve... when you won't even when you won't even for a microsecond. Why should you admit to or concede to any of these things when you delusional, unhinged, cowardly, okay, spineless? Yeah. What happened on January sixth? Like the it's like the most open world. The thing that okay. when Donald Trump tries to defend himself, he says Destiny. I need criminal Destiny. immunity to not be in trouble here, right? Destiny. So no, I'm not even going to concede. Destiny. Um, okay, thank you for that tirade. Uh, do you do you see anyone that? Okay, you say I'm not worthy. Of, I'm to discuss, discuss the, okay. the the stuff related to Donald Trump and the insurrection. That's what I came here to discuss. If okay, anybody here wants to jump to... on that, then sure, yeah, we can talk about it. Someone wants to talk about BLM protests at some other point. We can, but I would probably okay, agree sure. with most of them. But the difference is, is the left is generally willing to critique their side. The right is beyond critique. You guys are incapable, unfathomable no, uh, when it comes to critiquing so your own true. side. I, it is I absolutely true. 
No, I have seen people criticize. On oh, the shut right. the fuck up! No, you haven't. Please, yes, stop. Have. please, please, shut the fuck up! You absolutely have <laughs> not. Yeah, one tweet, you have to... one tweet where somebody's like, "Oh, well, I didn't agree when Donald Trump had, you know, a blue tie on instead of his normal red power tie." It's not a true critique. Okay, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, you don't have to swear at me, like. <laughs> And don't, don't act like a fucking moron. Don't act like an idiot. No, I'm not going to sit here and pretend not, like the I'm right acting, criticizes itself, okay? I'm not acting like an idiot, Destiny. Like, you don't, you don't have to be so Okay, then you are so, an idiot or whatever. And it's coming out naturally. My, whatever, however you want to phrase it. My bad. <laughs> okay. So, if, if... Okay, forget about the BLM. You don't want to talk about that. Fine. Uh, you think I'm... I didn't... Well, hold on. I didn't say I didn't want... I said I didn't come here to talk about it. If somebody okay, wants to do BLM okay, debate at some okay, point, or whatever, we could do it. Okay. But I didn't I come here to talk point. about BLM. I take it back. I, you said you didn't come here to talk about BLM. Acknowledge that. Fine. No problem. Oh, um, if, you, if you let me finish, uh, can you discuss these points with someone who you think is worthy who maybe has a bigger the insurrection or... stuff? You can... Yeah, you can voice as many fucking people as you want in here. 100% sure. Go for it. Okay. So we have some speakers in the room. They're willing to chat. So, uh, you know, whoever... If you want to put your hand up, we see there's Lauren, there's Clint. Well, he came up first, so maybe yeah. I just had a, a quick question for Stephen because you know his his screenshots. I'm blocked, so his screenshots of his tweets yesterday have been going viral, and I I'm just genuinely curious if he is at all concerned with the trajectory of political violence escalating. Um, you know the his reaction, his immediate reaction. Well, I I I'd imagine that much of it was in jest. Um, it's obviously very inflammatory. I'm personally concerned about the the climate in this country. I think that we're inching ever ever more closely to a potential, you know, civil war or something crazy like that. Uh, is that a, is that a concern? I mean, you talk about insurrection. You talk about the dangerous precedent of Donald Trump and and where this is all headed. Are are you open to political violence at this point? Because it seemed like it, and I don't. That doesn't strike me to be your character. So I wanted to clarify. I am very concerned about political violence in this country and the like road to political violence and you conservatives have been screeching for it nonstop. So I'm not going to be the the cuck on the left <laughs> to your, your guys' terms. I'm not going to be the cuckold on the left who is crying and screaming for uh, pump the brakes, guys. No, uh, no violence. It's civility time. Blah, blah, blah. While you guys on the right engage in the most absurd forms of reality denialism. Uh, while you guys say that uh, January 6th was a peaceful protest. When you guys say, oh, the Whitmer thing, uh, that was all the FBI. Uh, the pipe bomb stuff, oh, that was all fake. Uh, the uh, like, You guys won't take responsibility for fucking anything. And you're supporting literally the most divisive fucking president in all of recent history and you guys are saying well it's just fucking epic and hilarious when he owns the libs and when you've got biden who is like when it comes to rhetoric the most milk toast fucking guy in the world i don't even know if this guy has a fucking mean bone in his body and the only picture i see of him posted over and over and over again is him with a close-up shot where there's red white and blue lights in the background and it's just the red and you pretend he's a dictator fuck you i'm not gonna be the one calling for the oh guys we've got to be civil like no fucking violence uh oh. no that's fucking retarded you guys can lead the way on that one because you sure as fuck have led the way on getting us to where we are now well steven you debated me last year in tennessee i was i ran for vice president of the libertarian party i'm not a conservative at all so uh well your tirade may land with a different audience it's not going to work on me really uh, hold on I wait i'm sorry who, who are you supporting this election who am i supporting i haven't i haven't declared any support really what are you, what are you leaning to if i were to go through your twitter how many critiques have you made of donald trump versus how many critiques have you made of biden what do you think if i were to guess <laughs> Well, seeing as Biden's the president, it would probably be a lot more critiques towards the sitting president. Oh, yeah, but not the one that's coming in that's running for president that was also a president for four years? I've been very critical of Donald Trump. So <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, okay. The na name of my show is Liberty Lockdown. I'm very, very disappointed in, in the 2020 era. So uh, odds of me supporting Trump openly or otherwise are pretty slim. But <clears throat> setting that aside, I'm glad to hear that you are concerned about political violence in this country. I, I just, at the same time, I don't understand your rhetoric yesterday or your response to the violence, you know, basically applauding the the loss of a voter <laughs> for Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. It's, uh, it strikes it's me as callous to put it mildly. Yeah, not as hard as it struck that guy. Um, just curious. So I'm just looking through your Twitter, okay? You said it, it is a tremendously fraudulent case brought against the leading candidate to be the next president. Uh, you thought, which of the four cases against Donald Trump do you think are fraudulent and why? employee to hide documents from NARA and then the FBI, right? Or did you not know that because you haven't read that indictment, but you have a strong enough opinion about it to tweet about it? I mean, that was a, a lot of an assertion without actually allowing for me to answer. Uh, yeah, I realize that there's intentionality. Do you think that there was no intentionality with uh, with Biden having hundreds of documents at his house? 
I'm just saying that the two cases aren't comparable. The huge aspect of what Trump is being charged with is the obstruction charge because he told okay. his employee you, to hide think the documents. Do you think it's at all at all odd that that there would be this level of investigation into Trump but not into Biden? I honestly, I do think that the Trump stuff was really odd. I think the FBI should have kicked his door down a year earlier. I don't know why the fuck they waited so long. They gave him a year to turn those documents over to Nura, and he 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 shunned them, he ignored them, he lied to them, and he had his employee move boxes around, okay, like a fucking ferret running through a maze before the FBI finally caught wind that there was some bullshit going on. Do you think that Nara didn't give him enough time to respond? Why do you think he didn't turn the documents over when they asked? Okay, same same question for you. Why do why do you have zero concern about Biden possessing classified documents, but you're totally up in arms over Trump? I don't understand. Gonna, I'm I'm gonna keep asking until you answer the question. Why do you think Donald Trump waited a full year to turn those documents over to Nara? I don't know. Why do you think he told his employee to hide them? I, I don't. I haven't seen that. That's been proven that he told his employee to hide them. What's the evidence for that? It's literally laid out in the indictments from recorded conversations. Or do you think the FBI is just making it all up? Well, the FBI possible. did. The FBI did lie to the FISA court to spy on his campaign before he entered the White House. So yeah. So I don't you think trust they made the everything up in the indictment? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I don't case, think they then, made up everything. made up everything. What but, do you think about? Why, why do you think? Why should I trust the FBI? Okay, then don't. Then I don't know why the fuck I'm talking to you. If you don't trust any of the institutions or any of the investigative bodies, why did you Why did you say anything about EW? You should open with that. You should say, no, Destiny, I only trust what I read on Twitter. I don't trust anything from any of our three letters. I don't trust those guys. Just open with that next time, and then we don't have to waste any time. Like you know, I already told you I'm a libertarian, so you could have assumed that. But yeah. True, that you're retarded because it's basically one and part and parcel the same. Okay. You don't need to insult people. I don't understand why you need to do that. Okay, let's take a question. Uh, Sharika Sol, Sol has her hand up. Sharika, you can un unmute yourself. Destiny, I just have to say that you are an adult male and the way that you're talking to some of the women in here, well, Kat specifically, is actually really disheartening to listen to. Also, I am Black and I'm kind of tired of white liberals denying the violence in the Black community and using Black Lives Matter, specifically protests, who, by the way, black the Black neighborhoods that have the protest they end up being destroyed and trashed. And it's not you that comes to the neighborhoods and helps clean up those neighborhoods after a protest. So for you to speak on Black Lives Matter protest and say they're not violent or whatever you were trying to say is disrespectful, it's disingenuous, especially to black women who have to live in those neighborhoods and the black children. Uh, thank you as a black woman for showing up to show that retardation can transcend both gender and I'm not race. Retarded. Uh, You're the white uh, man yeah. I don't know why the fuck. What do you think I'm speaking out for BLM? This conversation is about BLM. I don't know why the why don't even know who the fuck you're talking Stop to right cussing. now. Stop I can cussing. cuss what I want. What do you mean? I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's free to be disrespectful. It's disrespectful of what? This is my this is this is people. your fucking Twitter Stop space. You're not here to tell me what I can say or not say. Matter out of your mouth. You're a white man. BLM, 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 BLM. Okay. BLM, black we people need me. I, I'm going to be the white savior for BLM. I love man. BLM. I'm the leader of BLM. Man. I'm the double pointed yeah. leader of BLM. Oh, yes, I love BLM. Oh, yes, Black Panthers. I'm going to join it right now. Oh, BLM, BLM, BLM. Keep it real. Black people I am are, keeping it black real. Black men are violent towards black women, and we don't need people like you constantly using us for political talking points. Mind your own <laughs> business and quit talking about a race that you don't know nothing about. We don't know you. You're BLM, not in our neighborhood. Are you lost? Are you lost? right now how did you even yourself. wander into here are you okay right now uh distress and you need to get on medication and stop talking okay. to women crazy you only okay. talk like that because you're behind a screen if you were there and she had a whole bunch of men standing by her there's no way you would keep talking to her like that you're a punk grow okay. up thank you sharika thank you so much for your valuable contribution okay noted okay um <laughs> Let's try to keep it civil, guys. Let's just try to speak with each other with not talking over each other. It's hard to hear when, you know, she's trying to speak and you're just going BLM, BLM, and we can't understand you guys. You know, it's hard to hear. I'm sure you know this. Like, I, I shouldn't have to explain that, but one at a time would probably be best. And m maybe if you didn't come to speak about BLM, you don't have to, you don't have to speak about it. If you don't want to, Destiny, that's fine large mansions do you know about that yep i got the largest one and i only invite my <laughs> white friends to hang out in it can't you at least just like laugh 
laugh it off without being so angry like this is i'm not angry i'm being very serious right now will impact you you know in any meaningful way so can we can we at least like bond over a mutual disdain for pearl davis like come on maybe maybe just like lighthearted, maybe that's okay that's progress i'll take that i'll take that I, i i like that okay um does anyone else want to jump in to say anything or to ask a question hey lauren yeah i mean hey i'll make a comment um oh boy <laughs> listening to this i will say i think there is a serious problem on the right right now uh not just the right politics in general with people not actually reading the documents people getting their information from memes i actually do think it's a little atrocious that from my side of the political spectrum and what i read on my timeline i don't hear more about the trump indictments and the actual documents going forward Fair point. i think that's Fair going point. to be something i'm going to be doing going mm -hmm. forward is actually reading those indictments because i think it's important for when debates like this happen and cat we can read them together we'll go over it together do a little sounds good session. i'm in i'm in but i will i will also say this disregard of actual research that is pervasive in the political sphere is the same reason i got cancelled and called a genocide denier for stating that no bodies existed in the alleged indigenous mass graves in canada i'm sure a lot of people remember that story None were ever found, but that lie still persists. And you know, oh, yeah. churches burned to the ground and the country put into havoc millions and millions of dollars of our tax money spent on this cause. And all because a bunch of people decided to believe memes over doing actual research. And I get being upset about it. Believe me, I was upset about it. I had uh, death threats in my inbox, threats towards my family, my children, and this is genuinely destroying our countries and democracy, this low information kind of engagement with politics. But, but I'm also aware that the people who haven't done enough research, haven't done enough reading on these subjects, aren't necessarily evil and shouldn't be discounted entirely, even if they're the ones that are sending me threats. I apologize. I'm in there for it right now. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. So, you know, in some cases, these people are my family, my lifelong friends that I've had that completely disagree with me on these topics that I think are sometimes ill-informed on these subjects. And I think that, uh, they're deserving of respect to some degree, to some level, just because yeah, my think... country has been defrauded by our government into believing mass graves and genocide exists that didn't happen and I've received threats. You know, I, that doesn't mean I have to treat every leftist cruelly nor laugh or mock or celebrate if they, uh, they are killed, especially when they're innocent and we're just showing up to a rally. And I think there's yeah. a much better approach than the one that Stephen has been taking, particularly when, uh, you know, I think the fact that this guy of, was tweeting out uh, Putin worship was makes it the most fucking hilarious like so misfire that could have possibly happened. <laughs> he deserved to get shot for that? I didn't say he deserved to get shot. I'm just saying he doesn't deserve any sympathy for it, okay? And it might warn a lot or two. I think you'll find that people care a lot more what you have to say when you acknowledge that they might be human, that they have some integrity that you can kind of show a little bit of respect. I mean, you've got family members that would agree with this guy. I don't think you laugh at them being shot. I want my mom and dad taught me fuck around and find out as like a first principle of how to navigate the world. So, so if, if they ended up going to a fucking shoes. rally like this, cheering for a fucking insurrection, a student or whatever. Yeah, they deserve it 50 times over. They served in the Air Force. They know better. They took an oath to the Constitution to serve this country, not to serve a fucking king. Why the fuck? I don't know why you guys ask wait, me this question. Like, what would happen wait, here? What would happen that? to your parents? Yeah, if they went to a crazy fuck rally like this, if something happened to them, it would be sad. I'd probably personally sad, but what the fuck do you want me to say? Like, what do you, what do you expect to happen? Wait, you think you think attending a political rally is a fucking fuck around and find out scenario? Come on. I man. think that supporting a prior president that engaged in insurrection. Yeah, I'm tired of pretending like that's just like a, a normal, ordinary thing that you're supposed to accept as, as an American citizen. That's unhinged. That is Jesse, fucking insane to me. I have a question. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do, do you honestly think that people, despite like, yes, I have seen the tweets mentioning the word king do you think people want him as king for real yes. you don't think that you do yep like what what causes you to make that conclusion except for them i'll be a single conservative commentator that had anything critical to say about the criminal immunity case show me one that even fucking read okay, half of it actually that... but show me one <laughs> find me one and maybe i'll believe no, it. No, maybe. no 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 just one sec I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about your belief that his supporters, that Trump supporters, uh, would literally make him king if they could. Yes. They but, literally call him Emperor Trump. Yeah. It's all a joke. So it's just a meme, LOL. Fight for, so the people that, that believe they're fighting for freedom and to preserve the constitutional republic that...